you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. So even for a practical, supposedly hard-nosed businessman, he's right, being really dumb. Before, but we all know what's going on. And today's question on the Savage Nation is a simple one. And I know it's not going to make you very happy. It is this. Should Trump resign to save our agenda? Should Donald Trump resign for the sake of our agenda? The agenda is bigger than the man. Does Donald Trump have any moves left to escape the evil attacks that are all false? And three, why do the Democrats so badly want war with Russia? Has anyone thought about that? Now, before I go into this in a little more detail, I want to quote the Proverbs because, as I said to you before, having gotten the number one bestseller called Trump's War out there, which is more important now than it was when I wrote it because it's the only record of what Trump actually promised us, what we demanded of him. I am working on my book, God's War. I'm actually finishing it. And so I want to read something. It's a short one. It's a one-sentence one. Even those of you who hate religion may find this interesting. But Proverbs 24, 17 says, When your enemy falls, do not rejoice. And when he stumbles, let not your heart be glad. Lest God see and be displeased, and then divert his wrath from him to you. If only Charles Schumer had a scintilla of his own religion left in him. If only he read Shemuel, the small one, who said, when your enemy falls, Charlie, do not rejoice. And when he stumbles, Chuck, let not your heart be glad, lest God see and be displeased and then divert his wrath from him to you, which means what goes around comes around in hippie parlance. Maybe that's something Chuck Schumer could understand. But let's get to the main question. Should Trump resign to save our agenda. I know you don't want to hear that question. And it's probably something you never thought you'd hear me say. But I'm asking for, for a very good reason. It's to force you to think about it. The Demon Cats and the media have two goals right now. And that's along with, by the way, the Republican Party, who never wanted Trump to begin with, and is in a circle. Let me add that to it. A2 Brutus, yes. He's surrounded by Brutuses. He is surrounded by Brutuses. Democrats, Republicans, media, and Brutuses within have goal, two goals right now, and they have some success in achieving both. They want to stop our agenda of borders, language, and culture, and they want to destroy the Republicans in the midterms. If they can't stop Trump with the first option, the second option will accomplish the goal of the first. The real question today is what can Trump do to survive this? Does Donald have any moves left that can help him escape these attacks? You see, Donald Trump has no sense of statesmanship. But that's why we elected him, because he's not a politician. That's why you voted for him. But I must tell you, he's acting like a bull in a china shop or a teenager on a cell phone. This is allowing the media to continue to portray him as King George and all the madness. He's not being helped by the people surrounding him. He's being undermined by his communication staff. They can't seem to come up with any common message. They can't keep him off of Twitter. Most importantly, they won't allow him to get near the people who support him, most, my audience. Keeping Donald Trump away from the savage nation is a message to you. Because when you have people who supported you now buckling from all the negative news day after day, it's demoralizing the base. And without our support, he has nothing. If he falls, the agenda will fall. No wall, no tax cuts, no immigration policy. No more judges go down the list. So what does Donald Trump have to do? Should Trump resign to save our agenda? He's not going to do that, by the way. He's been in many bankruptcies. He's been assaulted through many lawsuits. He's not a quitter. But what is he going to do to turn this around? This is our last chance to have the agenda we believe in advanced. Can it be saved? Those are the questions I invite you to call at 855-400-7282. Remember this, he's severely damaged in the eyes of the public. Forget the Democrats. The, uh, the all-important independents are now wavering. The Democrats know he can't be impeached. They know very well he can't be impeached. But they have an objective. The objective is stop the agenda. That's our agenda. Damage the Republicans for 2018. And start a war with Russia if possible. And third, stall the investigations of Obama and Hillary for true crimes and misdemeanors. He cannot be impeached. It's impossible. 
if you actually study what impeachment is, it's impossible to see him being impeached. It's impossible, impossible, impossible. You know what, what you have to do in order to be impeached? Treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Period. President Bill Clinton was impeached for perjury and obstruction of justice, but he was acquitted in the Senate. President Andrew Johnson was impeached in 1868 for abuse of power. He was acquitted in the Senate. President Richard Nixon resigned in, uh, in 1974 after three articles of impeachment were drafted charging him with obstruction of justice, abuse of power, and contempt of Congress. He later was pardoned by his successor, President Gerald Ford. When he served in the House, President Ford famously declared, quote, that an impeachable offense is whatever a majority of the House of Representatives consider it to be at a given moment in history. The allegations around Trump do not even do not even provide the seeds for formal charges. They're all invented. And Trump has something going for him that his predecessor did not. The Congress that would have to impeach and convict him is controlled by his Republican Party. I know many of them are turncoats. McCain looks more and more like a Manchurian candidate who was deeply brainwashed by the communist Chinese in the Hanoi Hilton after they broke his shoulders. He is looking crazier, more insane, and more Benedict Arnold-esque than ever. McCain has always been crazy. McCain has always been a Brutus. But now McCain is showing that he may actually be a, mature, a Manchurian candidate of a foreign government. You talk about collusion? Huh. You talk about collusion. I'll get into that in a minute. I'll get into the articles of impeachment and show you that that's nonsense. It's never going to happen. Another odd thing came out today, which is that some fools at the New York Times are saying that uh, Trump is mentally unfit for office and should be removed under the 25th Amendment. That's absurd. If you want to talk about mentally unfit for office, that could have applied to Barack Obama, who was clearly a sociopath. Barack Obama showed all the signs of being a sociopath. He could have been removed under the, under, under the 25th Amendment, couldn't he? So now that